Happy Easter guys! Belated Happy Easter! Uh, I, I couldn't do a video yesterday because I was suffering really bad with hay fever and I would have... I, I was sneezing constantly. Um, today is much much better. Um, so um, I... I, I saw I... I am um, give you give you a bit of uh, my opinion on Sebastian Vettel and uh, why I think that um, he's gonna re retire at the end of 2019. Well, let me start from the beginning. When Sebastian Vettel um, got uh, got uh, became BMW BMW Sauber's test driver in uh, 2006. Uh, he um, I I didn't think he was that special. Um, uh, but when he got into it, when he got to uh, jump in the car at the 2007 uh, US Grand Prix because Robert Kubica had a, um, a massive crash the, um, the, the, ra the race before at the Canadian Grand Prix. I saw um, he was... That was uh, that was quite uh, still quite average when he scored the points. Um, the uh, the only real um, time that I actually took notice of Sebastian Vettel was was when he um, uh, won uh, Toro Rosso's first and only Grand Prix uh, victory in Monza 2008 and he got the pole position and the fastest lap as well. I think that I saw then we I saw then that we we, he, we have somebody special on our hands but um, over and then during his during his uh, Red Bull years, I, I, I it was remarkable how he won um, four four championships uh, in a row. Having said that, and this is where I, <laughs> this is why I think. He is um, not to be considered one of the great. One of the greats is because he had. He never had. Um, he never had any any um, teammates that seriously could uh, challenge him um, for the title. Um, um, I hear, I hear you. A lot of people, people saying, "Russ, you're, you're crazy." Uh, what about Mark Webber in uh, 2010? Um, well, I agree with you there, but um, I think. Internally, uh, Sebastian Vettel always had the number number one status at Red Bull, and uh, whenever somebody um, has thre threatened that or was uh, beating him, or beginning to beat him uh, on a regular basis, like. Um, like uh, Daniel Ricciardo did in 2000 and 
uh, 14. Um, he, um, Sebastian, chose to jump ship, and uh, he, because he didn't, he he didn't feel comfortable with not having the full support of um, a Red Bull. I, I, I believe. Anyway, so and I think that is the same thing. What what's happening? What's beginning beginning to emerge um, at Ferrari? Um, because Charles Leclerc is definitely a championship contender, um, and I think Vettel knows that. Um, and this this is why I think um, he is gonna leave at the at the end of he's gonna retire from Formula One at the end of 2019 because where else is he gonna go? I mean he's not gonna go back to Red Bull because of Max Verstappen, and he's certainly not gonna go to um, to um, a Mercedes because um, Lewis, Ham Lewis Hamilton is is uh, uh, undoubtedly miles ahead of him in terms of talent, and um, so this is why I think he's gonna retire from Formula One at the end of the uh, 2019 season. Um, is he one of the greats uh, in Formula One? Um, my answer to this question is that uh, is absolutely no, because the greats managed to to become um, world champions in in uh, with different constructors like. Michael Schumacher's done it with a Benetton and um, later on Ferrari um, and Lewis Hamilton's done it with um, with McLaren and Mercedes so and also um, Senna's done it uh, Nicky Lauda's done it with with um, Ferrari and McLaren, so um, I think these are the true greats of Formula One, and this is how you define a true great in Formula One is um, whether they can um, win championships in with different in different teams. Uh, what what is your definition of a true great? Um, let me know in the comments below. And what do you think um, about what I've said in this video? Um, feel free to comment. And I speak to you later, guys. Cheers for watching. Bye.